Internet, welcome back. I'm Steve from graphicdesignertips.com, and today I really want to speak about the Adobe Creative Cloud. Uh, Adobe has overdone itself again, and they basically changed the whole game with the Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, if you ever hear, you know, about the, uh, if you're new to design or you've been in it for a little while, and you hear about the Adobe Creative Suite, and I'm not sure what versions you're working in, but a lot of times these programs are very expensive. And uh, a lot of us work on older versions of the programs because we can get by with the technology in the program. That's what I've been doing. I've been using CS3 for the last, uh, I guess maybe it came out in about 2007, 2008. Uh, I remember when I graduated college in 2006, I purchased Adobe CS2, which for, you, for those of you who don't know, Creative Suite is what the CS stands for. And with a student ID for 75% off, it still cost me about $700. I eventually upgraded to CS3, uh, which didn't co cost me too much because I had a previous version. But ever since then, CS4, CS5, it's ridiculous when you hear about the prices, and it, it gets kind of bummed out uh, when you think you know you're getting, you're getting left behind uh, on these programs that could really enhance your you know graphic design career, web design career, or whatnot. So when it comes to the Adobe Creative Cloud, um, CS6 is the the most recent that came out. And uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud hosts CS6. I'll talk about that in a second, what that means. But if you think about what cloud software is, think about the last few years. We got the iCloud. We got you know, other cloud services on the internet where you can you know, host files and such. Um, basically, Adobe has done the same thing. There are two areas to the Adobe Creative Cloud. There is the cloud, and then there are the software packages that come along with the cloud. So we're going to speak about the cloud first. Basically, if you have an iMac and a laptop or a tablet, you can save files through Adobe's website in your new cloud area. And you can go to the beach, bring your laptop, and pull them up right through your Adobe account. The same file. Uh, in fact, Adobe has created new tablet programs to work on your tablets if uh, that's the sort of thing that you like to do. So, like I said, you're working on something at your house and you're, you know, you're about to go to the beach and if you're like me, I take all my work to the beach. Uh, it's a peaceful place for me to work. I get yelled at because I'm working at the beach, but, you know, hey, gotta make a living, right? Um, so, you know, you could now take it on your tablet and continue whatever you were doing uh, through these uh, tablet programs that Adobe has created. So like a Photoshop program, Illustrator, and a couple others. I think there's maybe about six right now. Um, aside from the cloud, now it's going to give you, I believe, uh, about 200 gigs or something crazy amount of space on there, uh, which is going to take a very long time to fill up. Uh, but it's the, it's, the, it's the idea of the cloud where you can take it anywhere you are. Um, the second part of the Adobe Creative Cloud is the actual programs. All right, now the programs, like I said, Adobe maybe has about, what, uh, a dozen to 20 something programs and usually if you buy the full versions of the programs it's you know hundreds of dollars to maybe thousands of dollars you're talking about you know over ten thousand dollars worth of programs and like I said before it's it's throughout the years it's like a bummer when you hear about these programs coming out because you feel like you're getting left behind well that's not gonna happen anymore because with the Adobe Creative Cloud it's you basically pay a small membership fee every single month and you have access to the full versions of every single Adobe program. Now let me explain that real quick. If you're a new, if you're a new to Adobe, uh, you know, and you're looking to, to get C, all the CS6 programs, and I'm talking about other programs including Lightroom and Muse, which is a new web design program, it's phenomenal. It's changing, it's changing my life right now. It's changing my whole business, everything. Um, you're gonna pay fifty dollars per month for that subscription, and basically what's gonna happen is. When you want something, it's like a shopping cart. You're just going to go online and say, oh, I want Lightroom today. Boom, install it. It's going to go right to your desktop applications. It's amazing. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. And I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. I'm going to take a walk through that. Um, the, if you are a current member, if you have CS3, CS4, or CS5, Adobe is only going to charge you $30 per month for this. So basically right now, since I have Adobe CS3, I'm only paying $30 per month to have every single Adobe program. It's unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I literally have to pinch myself at night because I still can't believe uh, this is available to us. So the coolest thing about it is when there's an update to a program and you turn on your computer, uh, like I had an update to a program called Muse, which I've been using a lot lately. And when I opened Muse the other day, it said there's an upgrade available 
for this. Would you like to download? And I said, okay, boom, it downloaded right to my desktop. So uh, let's jump into this real quick, guys, so I can show you how simple and easy it is and how it's gonna change your life. All right, so after you sign up for the Adobe Creative Cloud, you're going to come into, uh, you're gonna go into your My Adobe account and you know, you're just gonna sign in, it's gonna come to this page right here. And you're gonna come down here to the Adobe Creative Cloud. Now there's a bunch of other things that works as a part of this subscription that are all these extra areas. Um, I'm not gonna talk them, about them right now, I'll, I'll do that in separate videos. But basically, uh, you're gonna click this little Adobe Creative Cloud right here, and it's gonna jump into your cloud area. Now um, there's two areas, like I said before, there's the files area, which is the cloud, and then the apps, which is you know the, the programs, also a part of the cloud. Um, I haven't really done too much with the uh, the apps, uh, the files right now, but um, I have been obviously working with all the apps. So this is the area where you would store the files, and you know you can collapse them, make them however you like, if you like them to stack like that. Um, to get to the apps area, you're going to click apps, and this is basically your mall, your shopping mall for the Adobe programs. Um, if you look over here. Basically, you got Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere, InDesign, Flash, Illustrator, Fireworks, everything you can possibly imagine. Now, recently, uh, Lightroom came in here. When I first purchased this program, this was not here at all. So now it's here and it's av available for download. Uh, since I did download that already, I'm going to find something I have not downloaded just to show you how easy this is. Uh, let's say we take this program called Audition. We're going to hit download. It's going to take a second or two. It's going to probably ask me to verify some information. Do, 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 do. All right. And just as easy as that, it's downloading right now. So once this is finished, it's going to come right down to my dock. It's going to take a little bit. Could take maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but that's the Adobe Creative Cloud, guys. Any questions, comments, um, leave, them at, leave them below. If you, if you got concerns or you know, you're know you not sure you're on the fence whether to uh, jump into it or not, uh, ask me or uh, you know anybody else on this comment forum can help you out also. Have a great night.